Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up on Roku or in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. We're about two weeks away from Floyd Mayweather against Saul Alvarez. I have a pre-fight video up. I expect Floyd Mayweather to win the fight. But the more I look at film of the two fighters, the more I am convinced that this fight is actually a mismatch. Right? What I want people to do is I want people to look at both guys from the waist down. Right? That's where this fight, in my opinion, is going to be decided. When you look at the Saul Alvarez versus Austin Trout fight, a fight, quite frankly, I thought Saul Alvarez lost. And I would encourage people here online to just Google the CompuBots numbers on that fight. You're going to notice, and I know Trout's a southpaw, but you're going to notice that Trout is playing angles more than he's moving. Right? Trout has cut down on his lateral movement against Saul Alvarez. He's pretty much right in front of Saul Alvarez for most of the fight. Now Alvarez tries to hit Trout in the body but doesn't have a lot of success. And even with Trout right in front of him for most of the fight, Saul Alvarez's volume wasn't good. Right? He didn't throw 500 punches in the fight. I'm not talking about landing. I'm talking about throwing. He didn't throw 500 punches in the fight, which went 12 rounds, right? Saul Alvarez is not a high volume guy. Now, if Alvarez had a hard time landing on a relatively stationary Austin Trout, just imagine the problem he's going to have landing on a moving Floyd Mayweather. Forget hand speed. Forget Floyd's offense. Right? And understand there is a sizable hand speed gap between these two guys. Mayweather, in his mid-30s, is much faster hand speed wise than Saul Alvarez. Much faster. Right? Mayweather's in the fast lane. Alvarez, at his best, is in the middle lane. Right? Mayweather's faster. But forget the offense for a moment. Forget the fact that Mayweather is going to be countering. That Saul Alvarez is not going to be chasing a target that's not fighting back. Right? Forget Mayweather's offense. Just think about Mayweather's lateral movement. Right? Just compare and contrast Mayweather's movement against Robert Guerrero. With Austin Trout's lack of movement against Saul Alvarez, right? Hasn't the public been a little bit hoodwinked? Because who has Saul Alvarez fought who has a lot of lateral movement, right? Jose Cito Lopez was there to fight it. Alfonso Gomez actually looked good with some lateral movement, then slowed down. Was right in front of Saul Alvarez. Right? Alvarez has a hard time cutting off the ring on Austin Trout. Right? That fight went 12. Right? You know, even if you thought Saul Alvarez won that fight, understand it went the distance. My question to you is, how is he going to cut off the ring? against Floyd Mayweather. Right? Well, let me point out too that as you look at films, and I know we all love heavy punchers, as I like to say, you know, knockouts cause amnesia. Right? And we remember the highlights and everything like that. 
But as you break down the film, think about the period of time between when a fighter starts to throw a punch and the punch gets there, right? How much does it take the fighter to get ready to throw a punch? Now with Floyd Mayweather, it's a blink of an eye, right? Mayweather might have reduced volume, but he has spectacular accuracy. Spectacular. Look at the numbers from the Guerrero fight. Understand, in the history of CompuBox, there hasn't been a fighter with the accuracy gap that Floyd Mayweather has had on his opponents, right? Mayweather sees an opening, he nails the opening, right? He's quick, his punches are straight. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Mayweather also can lead with his left, he can lead with his right, and he doesn't have to stick around. In other words, he can hit you with a right lead. He's right-handed, so that's his power punch. And then he can get out of dodge. Canelo doesn't move like Mayweather. Right? Now, Canelo's going to come in the ring weighing a lot more than Mayweather. These guys, quite frankly, aren't in the same weight class. Sure, they'll create the illusion that they are at the weigh-in. But the difference between the two guys is Floyd Mayweather's probably going to come in the ring weighing about 150 to 152 pounds. That's where Floyd usually fights. By contrast, Canelo's going to come in the ring weighing about 170 pounds. I'm not kidding. Right, this really is akin to Ray Robinson against Joey Maxim in an earlier generation when Robinson decided he would try to fight for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Understand too that the limit at light heavyweight is 175 pounds. Now my point to you is that extra weight is going to hurt Canelo, not help him. Because he can't move like Floyd as it is. With the extra weight, his movement's going to be even slower. Let me make another point too. Sometimes Mayweather allows you to catch up with him. He'll actually stand there and let you come to him. It's interesting. In an earlier generation, we had the rope dope Ali over by the side of the ring. Mayweather has pushed that to the next level. He literally sets up shop in the middle of the ring. Right? This is something he and Adrian Broner do. He lets you walk into his left shoulder in the middle of the ring. Right? Daring you to do something. Now, my point to you is simply this, and this might shock some people. Canelo needs more space between himself and an opponent than does Floyd Mayweather to throw hard punches. If Mayweather closes the distance between the two fighters, there's going to be a point where Floyd Mayweather, who can throw the shorter punches, right? I would say Mayweather's left hook is shorter than Canelo's left hook. There's going to be a point where Mayweather can actually smother Saul Alvarez, right? I know it's counterintuitive. I understand that I sound like a kook and that boxing insiders like Oscar De La Hoya are talking about Saul Alvarez cutting off the ring. Let me say, you'll know this fight is over if Saul Alvarez tries to cut off the ring. 
and Floyd Mayweather invites him to do so and actually steps closer to him. Mayweather's a master at defense. He's a master at covering his body. Saul Alvarez has a loop on his punches, right? If these two guys throw at the same time, Floyd Mayweather's punch gets there faster, right? So Mayweather, quite frankly, has multiple ways, in my opinion, to win this fight. One is simply to use the lateral movement that he used against Robert Guerrero. And understand, Guerrero, like Austin Trout, is a southpaw. In many ways, Guerrero, quite frankly, was a harder opponent than Canelo, right? Mayweather can either move like he did against Robert Guerrero, or he can set up shop if he wants. Step close to Canelo. Block Canelo's left hook. What other punch can Canelo throw up close? Right? I think the movement, I think the spacing, I think it's all bad for Canelo. I'll agree that Canelo is one of the hardest punchers in the sport. He's a heavier man. He certainly has a puncher's chance. But understand, I'm expecting Floyd Mayweather, quite frankly, to win out of 12 rounds, at least 9 of the rounds. I'm not expecting this fight to be close, right? Canelo hasn't fought a guy who can move like Floyd Mayweather, right? Let me go back to an earlier generation. Cassius Clay slash Muhammad Ali was supposed to be a big underdog against Sonny Liston who looked like a fearsome puncher. By the way, for those keeping track, Liston had a much better jab than Saul Alvarez, and Alvarez has a good jab, but Liston's jab is really one of the best in heavyweight history. But understand, Sonny Liston needed to set his feet to get off punches. He couldn't hit a moving target. Ali literally is moving around the ring, dictating the pace of the fight. That fight so lopsided that at one point Ali couldn't see. Right? He had liniment in his eyes. Right? He couldn't see for a round. So what did he do? He danced around right in front of Sonny Liston. And Liston couldn't pull the trigger. Now take a look at Saul Alvarez's punch numbers. Why are they so low? Right? Is it possible that Alvarez has a problem pulling the trigger in response to movement? Let me go one step further. You know, Mayweather went 12 rounds with Miguel Cotto. By the way, I think Cotto might be a harder opponent for Mayweather than Saul Alvarez. By the way, when I say harder opponent, I'm not necessarily saying that Cotto beats Alvarez. I'm just saying Cotto's style was such that Cotto had foot speed to get Mayweather up on the ropes. And Cotto had stamina. Right? He's still trying to bring it late in that fight. Sol Alvarez doesn't have Cotto's foot speed. Sol Alvarez doesn't have Cotto's stamina. He's an excellent fighter. He's an unbeaten fighter. He's beaten some great fighters. I'm a big fan of Miguel Vasquez. Saul Alvarez has beaten Miguel Vasquez, right? I never saw Shane Mosley hanging on for dear life more than he was in the later rounds against Saul Alvarez, right? But just, just understand that Saul Alvarez today isn't as light as he was when he faced Miguel Vasquez. He's a bigger guy right now getting by by gaining 15, 20 pounds after weigh-ins. And he's a guy who, quite frankly, has been taking time off on rounds. You know what? It's hard enough to win a round from Floyd Mayweather when you fight three minutes of the round. It's almost impossible to do it unless you get a knockdown. 
if you're only fighting a minute and a half of the round, right? So I think Canelo is going to look awfully slow. I think the problem with the concept of Canelo running up to Floyd Mayweather and trying to bully him into the ropes is that as Canelo moves unnaturally fast for himself, the rest of his game is going to fall apart. Also, if Canelo is moving faster than usual and leaving himself open for counters, who in the sport can throw pinpoint precision counters better than Floyd Mayweather? Mayweather is a 3-1 to one favorite right now. I consider this a bargain, right? It would be different if I saw Canelo in there with guys who are actually moving around the ring. I haven't. Right? At least not at this weight. Also, the fact that Canelo came in so heavy in recent fights tells me he's going to have an awfully hard time catching up with Floyd Mayweather just like Joey Maxim in an earlier generation had trying to catch up with Sugar Ray Robinson. Right, And keep in mind, in that Maxim Robinson fight, the ring temperature was over 100 degrees. And the one thing you knew about Joey Maxim was he was in shape to go the distance. Do you really know that? With Saul Alvarez. Right? This fight looks like a mismatch to me two weeks out. We'll see if I'm wrong. I know a lot of people. Believe that an upset is possible in this fight. Let me tell you, I believe that Floyd Mayweather wins at least nine rounds. I also think that folks need to consider the possibility that Mayweather wins this fight by KO. Right? I'm not saying bet all your money on Mayweather by KO. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is we've all seen fights where one guy is simply too fast for the other guy, right? And I'm just here to say that if Saul Alvarez can't figure out how to deal with Mayweather's superior hand speed, right? And if Saul Alvarez can't find Mayweather and Mayweather can find him, and keep in mind, Mayweather landed an inordinate number of power punches his last fight against Robert Guerrero. If Mayweather starts landing that straight right hand with regularity like he did the last fight and only this time starts also landing that left hook. Folks, he's fighting a righty this time, not a southpaw like he did against Guerrero. Then I don't see why Canelo, who was in significant trouble against Miguel Cotto's brother, I don't see why Canelo necessarily goes the distance in this one. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. What I'm trying to do here is to hopefully get a dialogue going on the fight. You don't have to agree with me, right? Maybe I'm some nut job online. But let's at least talk about the fight. Let's have a boxing hardcore conversation. If you have thoughts too about the Joey Maxim, Sugar Ray Robinson fight, or, you know, um, anything I've said. Sonny Liston, Muhammad Ali, let us know. Thanks for stopping by.